Hey guys, this video is brought to you by privacy.com. If you stick around, I'll tell you how you can get $5 for free to spend anywhere online just by trying out the service. Yo, yo, yo. Hey guys, it's Pop and Jock Slade here. Back with another unboxing and today, I've got a little something special for you guys, something that I was really excited about and I've really been excited about for a long time and it has to do with the future of sneakers or the future of technology in sneakers. Sneakers are moving so fast and a lot of times most of the technology when it comes to sneaker is based on the cushioning or based on the materials used for the upper or sustainability and all of those things are important but in my mind and the, the nerd part of me wants to see how far we can take sneakers. So this is the Nike Hirachi Adapt. Now most of you guys should already be familiar with the Adapt BB, which is the basketball version of Nike's self tightening technology, not self-lacing, self-tightening technology, because it's not actually lacing the shoes, it's just tightening the shoe around your foot. And for this one, they're going with a pure sportswear approach. And you can see that when you look at the sneaker because it is the Hirachi model, which isn't a real, technically real running shoe. And I do think these look very, very unique. And I, I would go as far as saying they look nice. I would, I would go as far as saying that they look nice. Uh, for those that have the Adapt BB, you know it came in a different box. It was a black box. This is just a white version, again, because this is more of a sportswear offering than it is an actual performance offering. And uh, gives you a little bit of instructions here, basically based in pictures. So what you need to do, download the app, which is the Adapt app on your iPhone or your Android phone. The how to control the tightening and loosening up your shoes, or actually, it has the three seconds there so you can connect your shoe via Bluetooth. You connect the right and the left shoe and then you charge your shoes on the charging pad that's on the inside, but we'll get into all that in just a moment. But look, let's see what else comes in the box. First, you have this branded Nike box here and that comes with two things for you. There is a USB-C cable. It's an a USB-A to USB-C cable. And then it also comes with a power adapter that you can plug for the USB-A, plug that into there. So with these cables, you go inside of the box and that's where you have your instructions. You know, just in case you don't understand it via the pictures here, they actually have full written instructions for you. And uh, it's quite the booklet for you. Um, so if you are confused, about how to run your shoes, you have full pages of how to do it. Now, this isn't all in, um, this isn't all English. This is a bunch of different languages. So truthfully, it's not that much, but you definitely see that there's a bunch of instructions there for you to tie or tighten your shoes. But what you really care about down here is this. This is the wireless charging pad that you're going to put your shoes on when you start to charge them. And it's pretty simple. You just plug this into the wall, plug the USB-C into the USB-C connector there, and then you have your shoes. They have the Nike swoosh and then they have the two circles there. See they have the Nike swoosh and the two circles there and you just plug your shoes in and set your shoes on top of there. Literally, you put your shoes just like that and they'll start charging for you. And I, d I believe uh, it only takes a couple of hours for your shoes to fully charge and they should last you uh, for a little while, depending on how much you're tightening and loosening up your shoes and how much you have the lights on. Um, but yeah, enough about the accessories. Let's actually get into the actual sneakers and move ahead with the technology that we have here in front of us. Yo, this video is sponsored by privacy.com and you can think about them in two different ways. One, they protect your financial information and two, they allow you to create these virtual credit cards. So if there's a breach on a website, you just have to cancel the virtual credit cards that you created on privacy.com so you don't have to cancel your actual credit cards. Or say if you go to a website and you wanna automatically populate your information that has your credit card info in there or those virtual credit card info in there, you can use the privacy.com plugin to do that for yourself as well. It's something that I've definitely used in the past and it's something that I think is worth you guys using. Otherwise, I wouldn't tell you about it. You can check them out right now at privacy.com forward slash Jacques. Once again, that's privacy.com forward slash Jacques. So you see that the upper of the shoes use like a mesh material. I'm going to say it's, it's mesh and then they have 
a fuse line that runs right up the middle. And I imagine that's because with the mesh, they probably have two separate halves. And this is where those come together right here at the toe. You also have some fuse panels here along the side. And in between those, you actually have some elastic to help you foot, put your foot inside of the shoe. Most of you know how hard it is to put your foot inside of a booty type shoe where it's like just one entrance point and there's no movable tongue. And these, they're gonna add that extra elastic there to give you that extra little bit of relief. Now these have some protective plates in here, uh, but these don't actually have to stay in here. These can actually come out. And so this is what your shoe will actually look like. You don't have to have these, these white panels are just for protection and to keep your shoes to keep the shoes protected and to protect the logo underneath there. You can barely see the logo there, but it's a Hirachi logo there. They actually have some coordinates on here and I'm not sure what they are. My assumption is that these are the coordinates for the Nike campus, but I don't know that for sure. So if you know that for sure, so 122 degrees by 36 degrees by 53.4024 degrees west. Uh, I believe I'm supposed to say declination or something like that in there, but I'm not sure exactly where that is. Haven't been on uh, charting the seas or uh, the, the the equator. I haven't done a lot of that lately, so I'm not sure how that works. Um, these are obviously definitely more of a lifestyle play than a performance play. Um, you see they have this really thick outsole. They have this really nice rubber outsole right there for you. And it's in this like smoke gray where you can see right through and obviously see the Nike swoosh and they have this white midsole. And then the midsole is actually pretty thick as well, but that is so you can house this brain inside of there. And the way that the brain works is you see they have these like paracord type laces or type strings here that start at the toe. And then those go down to about the midfoot on both the matter on the on both the medial and on the lateral side. And then they string back up to the bridge of your foot. And then they go down again right near your ankle. And then those disappear into the bottom of the shoe and basically what this brain does is it captures the laces and it starts to wind them up basically to tighten them around your shoe and then that's when you hear the sound that i love from these shoes so much which is wait and you can see here that you can actually tighten them pretty tight if you wanted to get super tight with your shoes, depending on how tight you like to wear your shoes or how many pair of socks you have on. You can get them pretty, pretty tight on your feet. And it's it's a really cool concept. And I love where Nike is going with it. They obviously started with the regular Hyper Adapt, which was the first one, which was a bit of a lifestyle play, but technically you were still able to play basketball in those. From what I was told, I never tried to play basketball in mine. But then you had the Adapt VB, which was basketball basketball specific and you saw guys like Jason Tatum actually wearing them on the court in an NBA game which goes to show you that obviously there was something about the shoes if you can wear them in an NBA game although PJ Tucker has worn tons of things in an NBA game that I probably would never ever wear in an NBA game um, but these they don't seem to have that sort of performance feel to them at all they definitely feel more lifestyle and, so, and more of a novelty something to kind of show off to show people that what you've got and it makes me think about what the future of this technology is or what the future of sneakers is going to be a lot of times you you see i've seen stuff with like lights on sneakers or the laces like this or people saying that you can kind of transform your shoe and i'm still not sure where i want to see sneakers go as far as technology but i do get excited about seeing the potential of something like this for me i think i would love to have a basketball shoe that could literally adapt to your foot to every single step that you take if you make a cut it could automatically tighten or if you loosen up or if you're just chilling that it would automatically loosen up and that the the cushioning would change based on how you play or how you're currently playing or if it's tracking your data and it knows that you start to fall back on your heels after a certain amount of time that it adds a little more firmness in the heels to give you to get you kind of back on your toes and kind of softens the toe a little bit to kind of get you to lean back down and get that proper stance i don't know there's a bunch of different things i think you can do with technology and i think all of that stuff will develop over time and it's going to take time for all that stuff to kind of come fruition and come together but something like this are brings really brings those things 
into the imagination. These are the first steps into that world. Back to the Future introduced us to all of that, but then we have this, which is the actualization of those things that we saw in Back to the Future and more in a lifestyle slant, which obviously I like as well. Uh, so anyway, let me know, what do you guys think? Is this the future of technology and sneakers or is it something completely different that we're not even thinking about yet? Anyway, uh, make sure you guys check out privacy.com forward slash Jacques. They're giving away $5 for you to spend anywhere online. Again, that's privacy.com forward slash Jacques. They were nice enough to sponsor this video and they're giving away $5 for you. So yeah, make sure you guys give them a try. Uh, as always, I appreciate you. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe and all that good stuff. And if you really like what you see here, why don't you go ahead and turn on those notifications. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Peace.